The history of the slave trade is a dark and painful chapter in human history, marked by the horrors of bondage, oppression, and unimaginable cruelty. While the focus often falls on the mistreatment of African slaves by white men, it is important to shed light on another aspect of this harrowing period, the abuse suffered by black men at the hands of white women. In this video, we will be discussing the history of the slave trade, explore how black men were abused by white women, and attempt to understand the underlying motivations. Welcome to our channel ladies and gentle and thank you for joining our community please show us love by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel so you never miss any updates on trending events. The history of the slave trade is a long and complex one, dating back to ancient times. It is estimated that over 100 million people have been enslaved throughout history, with the transatlantic slave trade being one of the largest and most notorious examples. The transatlantic slave trade began in the 16th century when European powers began to establish colonies in the Americas. These colonies needed a large labor force to work on plantations and in mines, and so Europeans began to trade for enslaved Africans. The slave trade was a triangular trade, with European ships sailing to Africa with goods such as textiles, metal goods, and weapons. These goods were traded for enslaved Africans, who were then transported to the Americas. The ships would then return to Europe with goods such as sugar, tobacco, and cotton produced by enslaved people in the Americas. The transatlantic slave trade was a brutal and inhumane system. Enslaved Africans were often captured through raids and warfare, and were then transported in cramped and filthy conditions on slave ships. Many enslaved people died during the journey, and those who survived were often sold at auction upon arrival in the Americas. Enslaved people were forced to work long hours in harsh conditions on plantations, in mines, and other industries. They were often subjected to physical and emotional abuse and were denied basic human rights. The transatlantic slave trade had a devastating impact on Africa, both demographically and economically. It also had a profound impact on the Americas, where slavery played a major role in the development of many economies. The transatlantic slave trade was gradually abolished in the 19th century, but slavery itself continued in many parts of the world until the 20th century. Slavery is now illegal in all countries, but the legacy of the slave trade continues to be felt today. The slave trade had a devastating impact on both Africa and the Americas. In Africa, it led to the loss of millions of people, as well as the destruction of cultures and economies. In the Americas, it led to the creation of a system of racial inequality and oppression that continues to this day. The slave trade also had a significant impact on the development of capitalism and globalization. It was a major driver of economic growth in Europe and the Americas, and it helped to create a global network of trade and exchange. However, the slave trade was also a major source of human suffering and exploitation. The legacy of the slave trade is still felt today. In Africa, many countries continue to struggle with the economic and social consequences of the slave trade. In the Americas, the legacy of slavery is evident in the racial disparities that continue to exist in many societies. The slave trade is a reminder of the dark side of human history. It is important to remember and learn from the past so that we can prevent such atrocities from happening again. The demand for African slaves increased significantly in the 16th century with the expansion of European colonial powers and the establishment of sugar plantations in the Caribbean and Brazil. The transatlantic slave trade reached its peak between the 17th and 18th centuries, with millions of Africans forcibly transported across the Atlantic Ocean under brutal and inhumane conditions. The slave trade had devastating consequences for African societies. It led to the depopulation of certain regions, disrupted social structures, and fueled intertribal conflicts as Europeans encouraged rivalries between African groups to secure captives for trade. The trade also had profound and lasting impacts on the Americas, shaping the demographics, economies, and cultures of the regions where slavery was practiced. Several factors contributed to the emergence of the transatlantic slave trade. One of the primary factors was the growing demand for labor in European colonies in the Americas, particularly for large-scale plantation agriculture. The indigenous populations in the Americas had been decimated by diseases introduced by Europeans, and there was a need for a new source of labor to work on the plantations. However, the transatlantic slave trade, which spanned from the 16th to the 19th century, is the most well-known form of slavery. During this period, millions of Africans were captured, shipped across the Atlantic, and sold as slaves. They were forced to work on plantations, mines, and factories, 
and were subjected to inhumane treatment by their white masters. Black men were also subjected to psychological and emotional abuse. They were constantly reminded that they were inferior to white women and that they had no rights. This abuse could have a devastating impact on black men's self-esteem and mental health. During this time, white women held a position of power and privilege within society. While their roles were often confined to the domestic sphere, they exerted control over their enslaved labor force. The abuse of black men by white women was not only physical but also psychological and sexual. White women, particularly those from affluent households, often benefited from the labor of enslaved black men. They relied on their service for various domestic tasks, such as cooking, cleaning, and childcare. However, this reliance on enslaved labor also laid the foundation for the abuse and mistreatment that black men endured. Some white women engaged in sexual relationships with enslaved black men, often under coercive or exploitative circumstances. These relationships were marked by a severe power imbalance, with black men having little to no agency or consent. The consequences of such relationships could range from emotional and physical abuse to the forced separation of families. White women, as owners or overseers, were known to administer physical punishment to enslaved individuals, including black men. This could involve whipping, beating, or other forms of brutal discipline. The abuse was often justified by the belief in white supremacy and the desire to maintain control and dominance over the enslaved population. White women employed psychological tactics to belittle, demean, and degrade black men. Verbal abuse, humiliation, and the intentional destruction of their self-worth were used to enforce subservience, instill fear, and maintain dominance. White women, as owners of plantations or households, often subjected black men to grueling labor without proper compensation or humane treatment. They would exploit their labor power, forcing them to work long hours under harsh conditions, denying them basic rights and dignity. However, it is worth noting that some individual white women expressed opposition to slavery as a whole, recognizing its inherent cruelty and injustice. These women were part of a small minority and faced significant social backlash and ostracization for their views. They often faced opposition from their own families and communities, who held deeply entrenched beliefs in white supremacy and the preservation of the status quo. Prominent figures such as Angelina Grimke, Sarah Grimke, and Lucretia Mott were white women who spoke out against slavery and advocated for its abolition. They used their voices and platforms to challenge the institution and work toward social change. While their primary focus was on the abolition of slavery as a whole, their efforts indirectly contributed to shedding light on the broader systemic abuses suffered by enslaved black individuals, including men. Thank you fellow enthusiasts for joining us on this thrilling yet pathetic adventure, don't forget to hit the like button, and share your thoughts in the comment section about how you feel about how black men were abused by white ladies, and don't forget to show us love by sharing our video. Thank you for watching and until next time keep exploring.